Soul Channel here with another video. I was actually requested uh, to make a video about my build, the skills that I use, the gear that I use. So um, let's go ahead and do that, shall we? I am using a D wield and bow. Oh wait, I'm using a Templar, a uh, Breton Templar of the Merry Dominion. Uh, as you can see, all my points are in this Templar. Slash, there we go, uh, which is a morph of Twin Slash. And the second one that I have over here is a rearming trap. It is a Fighter's Guild ability. You get it at, I believe, level 8 or level 9 or something. And <clears throat> this is a morph of uh, Trap Beast. The third one we got over here is the Power of Light. That is a Dawn's Wrath ability. This is a morph of <coughs> Backlash. The fourth one we have is Biting Jabs. This is a uh, Adric uh, Spear ability, and this is a morph of uh, Puncturing Strikes. And for my uh, for my fifth ability, I have Steel Tornado again, a dual wield ability. It's a morph of Whirlwind. I am using Rend, which is a morph of Lacerate. The reason I went with this um, ultimate is, as you can see, it deals a lot of damage and it heals you, uh, uh, deals a lot of physical damage, uh, should I say, and it heals you for the 50% of the damage done over 60, 16 seconds. So it basically gives you a massive boost to your survivability if you were like in the mo uh, in the middle of a boss fight or if you're surrounded by a lot of mobs, you just throw that down and uh, you're good to go. It'll, it boosts up your survivability. On my back bar, I got Blazing Spear, which is a morph of Spear Shards. I'm using Bow and Arrow, by the way, on my back bar. The second ability I have is Poison Injection, which is a morph of Poison Arrow. If now, if I'm running, uh, the way I work my build is if I'm running public dungeon or a group dungeon, a group run, I change the poison injection with <coughs> restoring light ability, repentance, which is a morph of a restoring aura. Now this thing over here also adds to your survivability, also adds to your uh, uh, resource management, because uh, as you can see, consecrate the souls of the fallen, restoring 3,100 3,109 stamina to you and nearby allies for each corpse. So if you have, like my health is not great as you can see, this is what I have with 17,979 with full buffs. So if I have six corpses down, that will basically replenish my health. So uh, yeah, it's, it, it works for me. If, if it works for you, go ahead and try it. The third ability I have is Razor Caltrops, it's the Alliance War Assault ability, uh, the morph of uh, Caltrops, and the fifth one, again, uh, survivability <coughs> uh, boost, resolving vigor. Uh, this is a uh, morph of vigor. Now this one uh, heals yourself uh, for 9,402 health for 5 seconds and nearby allies for 7,200 You can spam it, spam it, uh, it if you are surrounded by enemies. Uh, I had to do that when my healer uh, dropped the group in the middle of a boss fight. That was fun. The gear that I'm using is right now I'm wearing Valken Scoria training helmet. I'm looking to get a better one than that, uh, probably Divines or Infused. My guildmate.
both of them are really good, uh, but you want to go for divines or infused, probably divines. Uh, the hunting rage is, <coughs> well, oh, sorry, there we go, with five pieces, like two pieces, uh, weapon crit, three pieces, max stamina, four pieces, weapon crit again, and five pieces all together, weapon damage added. And for uh, Red Mountain, <coughs> for two pieces, weapon damage, three pieces, stamina, four pieces, uh, weapon crit, and five pieces when you have the full set, it deals damage with a weapon ability you have. When you deal damage with a weapon ability, you have a 10% chance to deal additional 7,636 flame damage. So that's really cool. For my food, I am using. Holy cow, how do I pronounce that? Braised rabbit with spring vegetables. Well, it's a dual uh, uh, stat food. Usually people use uh, like three stats on their food. That's good too. If you get something better, definitely take that. I had this, so I kind of, no wait, that was actually created by my, uh, crafted by my guildmate as well, the, some, the same one that helped me farm uh, my gear and uh, helped me craft some, some, some of my gear. Uh, for the potions, I use the Essence of Health, Champion Point 150. Guys, you want to stick with the health potions, the Magicka and the Stamina. You can recover with heavy attacks of your, your, your destruction staff or your restoration staff for magicka and like uh, bow or uh, swords or whatever the heck you're using for melee weapons. You could, you could restore that with, with heavy attacks. So this is the build that I work. It works for me. If it works for you, go ahead, take it. It's your, it here. It's here. Use it however uh, you like it. People have different variations of this build. Uh, I have mine. This is how I work my uh, my my build. Sorry, stuttering. Anyways, uh, that was my build. I hope you like it. If anyone wants it, as I said, it, it's there. Take it, work it, <coughs> and that's it for now for this video. Uh, just before I leave, guys, remember it's it's just a game. So relax, have fun, enjoy. Avoid shaming and bigotry. Take care of yourselves and have